Hello my convicts and convict catch. Yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, bringing you a second video today because I really wanted to talk about Apex and as you can see we have the new legend right in front of us called Octane. Octane has some really interesting ability. He is kind of like an adrenaline junkie is the best way to describe him in which he can stab himself with a needle that actually makes him run very fast for a very about six seven seconds i think it's about the same length in which the wraith can do her l1 ability where she goes invisible but he can run pretty fast with that and then his second ability is what we've seen previously in the game that they kind of teased us with and had respawned around the market area in which you could actually bounce on them and thrust yourself around a little bit which was pretty cool so this is octane i've been playing with him he's a really cool character he's actually probably one of the best characters to use the ones i always kind of go for is when i'm using any to be honest as of late is going to be either himself octane or i like bangalore and i also like wraith as well because these are all the kind of ones that actually have a sprint a sprint burst to them whenever something happens now for the wraith she doesn't exactly have that herself but she does warn you when someone's looking at her which is one of the reasons why i mean by she's in that kind of same category Bangalore obviously moves uh, very fast for a few seconds after you fire at her so she can sprint off and then Octane obviously has this L1 ability that literally t takes two seconds to do. Every two seconds you can use this item and go into a sprinting mad mode. The only downfall to it is you do le lose a little bit of your health, but while he's not in fighting, he will actually regain his health for every one, two seconds. He gains some health, I think. I remember Dr. Disrespect saying that for one minute, he would recover back 30% of his health. So make of it from what you will there but I just don't want to talk just about these I want to talk about the battle pass as well I have bought the battle pass as you can see here and we're going through the levels for it and these are the things that I've unlocked at the moment so me personally do I think the battle pass is worth it so far I actually don't I really I did tweet to them if you go into my twitter and you go and look at my tweet on there I actually did dismay the battle pass a little bit because it seems very mediocre what i mean by that is a lot of the items you get in are pretty bland so there's nothing really too exciting as you can see this gun floating around here the skins aren't that great i, I look at that skin and i go what is this skin and it's called patchwork but it looks terrible it doesn't look good at all and then you look at the character skins they don't look any better at all either. It's just very, very slight changes to the color of their outfits and then a bit of face paint on them, which really doesn't, you know, spark of, you know, any super interest to me. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the, of the battle pass. I personally don't think it's that good. I really want them to really invest in putting in some brand new outfits what i want to see what i would personally say myself rather than just crit criticize it is for instance have each character that you gain that you earn have a completely different outfit and i mean don't just change the color and put a few shiny things in i mean actually change the entire outfit she's wearing right here and maybe have a as a doctor and have like a stethoscope around her neck and a blue overalls instead of what she's wearing there and maybe a med pack satchel you know that kind of idea and then for instance obviously with such as mirage here have him in maybe a cowboy outfit or a um in a suit sort of thing a suave suit kind of idea a black pinstripe suit just change the actual look of the actual characters maybe make him bald or give him a beanie hat you know change her hairstyle maybe have it long or in the ponytail just change up the characters completely so it's a different complete unique different take on that character that's what i would like to see in my eyes in terms of the battle pass now for weapon skins 
as you can see, the weapon skins aren't that great. Now, I can understand if you're going through certain tiers, you should get, you know, not great skins like this and just get something that's coloured and looks good and uh, like a reinvention of the skin. But I would want to see if I'm buying a battle pass, eventually as you get so far on through these tiers to start to see different variation of, like, the, the shape the design of the gun, the way it looks, adding new extra features, have it look completely different to what it would normally look like this could be completely different. It could be have energy blasting through it and it looks like a different shape and everything and it has a different uh, end muzzle and different triggers and different shoulder pad. Uh, the stock part looks completely different as well. And really, really mix it up, especially if people are going to buy into a battle pass, then it's nice to have that as well. Now, the banners, I'm not too fussed about. Obviously, the banners just there to introduce characters. The banners seem to be pretty okay uh, in terms of what I've seen so far. It's opening season. You gotta love it. Or not, but, you know, whatever you want. So, for the intros, again, they seem to be okay because they're more or less speaking at different you know different lines and stuff so it seems okay for the way that they've done the voice intros that seems fine obviously you can get these extra things so you can find out how many season wins you can get and different stats which is pretty cool and these are the rewards you get through apex coins now i'm not going to go through all this but i'm just giving you a idea but as you can see some of the skins in the game they're just absolutely dreadful it's like most of these skins is either that one or the patchwork one. And it's like, why why not have it just as a skin that fits on any model of gun? You know, it's just one, just the skin you get it once and it'll fit every single gun. Not, here you go, when you get to level 44, have another patchwork. Hooray. Because that just looks really, really bad. Now that's a pretty decent skin. I like that skin. That's a nice one. So they're making an improvement on there. And you could probably say that what they're attempting to do is to get you to go to the end by giving you better skins at the end of the pa of the actual battle pass. But you want to have something to work towards, something that looks unique and really, really nice. And to be honest, a lot of this even up to the stage of 84, hasn't been that great. There's only been one item so far, and we're already around the 80s, 70s, 80s, for where we, we would want to be, and that's the end. So towards the end of the battle pass, we're literally getting slightly better stuff. And I mean very, very slightly. I've only seen one so far, and as you can see, patchwork again. Like I said, that should be just a thing on its own. And you get patchwork for all of the guns, not just one specific gun. Then so far up, you'll get one for the other gun. And so far up, you'll get one for the other gun. It just looks really, really eh to me. And then obviously the peace star resistance is these two. The silver storm, which looks really cool for the havoc. Now this is what I mean by design and changing the actual looking and appearance of a weapon. Why could they not do that with, you know, a, a lot of the beginning ones as well because if it's free and obviously people paying for stuff they want to see something unique like this something that will make a complete change to the way it is on here and again really, really nice skin but it's right at the end and we've only had two that are actually pretty decent all the others are just these and patchwork so let me know in the comments below what you think of that i actually feel that it's a bit mm, for my taste. I did buy it this time around. If, however, the second season, the battle pass is the same, I'm not going to buy it myself. Uh, I'm not going to buy it unless there's something really, really mind-blowing in there because we've literally only got a few character skins. If you look through all this, there's no character skins. Just banners until you get to the very beginning and obviously you get that slightly different skin on there for Octane because it's a new character anyway. But in terms of all the other skins, you, you don't get anything. The only ones you really get 
Uh, right at the beginning. And like I said, these are terrible. I really don't like them. I've put them on, but I just don't want to be paying for this kind of skin. You know, I, I really want a skin to be pretty good. Anyway, going off that subject, what I really wanted to show you today, something I've seen that I actually didn't know was in the game. I've only just found it just now. And it's absolutely going to completely change how I can play this game, which is really cool. So if you go into the options, go into settings, and you have a look around here. Now, obviously, you can see all these uh, here. Uh, now you can see this, it says ALC enabled. Now we'll get to that in a moment. And you can also see there's dead zones for the L2 and R2. So it determines how sensitive the L2 and R2 are when pressed, which obviously I want it to be none. Interact, crouch, aim, all these are the same. Now these have changed, but I'll show you that in a moment. Small, inverted, and vibration. Now, if you go here, you can actually see there's now something called advanced controls. If you click on advanced controls, you get all of these. Now, this is all about the aiming, and at first it was on off. So, obviously, that's the reason why this was highlighted. But I went down here, and I turned it on, and you get all these. So, you get the size of the inner range in which stock input will not be registered. Smaller is great, generally better as more input allows for finer control. So you can actually now physically change up your dead zone, as you can see here. Now, I don't know if that would make a big difference there, uh, but I'm gonna play with these a little bit. And there's target compensation as well, you can turn it on and off. I didn't even know the, you know we had any sort of compensation. How fast you turn left and right, how fast you look up and down, extra turning, and ramp up time, ramp up delay, and all that good stuff, all these here. So I've not actually tried and played with these uh, as of yet, but that's insane. That means I can actually now physically do what I did in Battlefield 1 and go through and actually customize it exactly how I want it to play and have a really, really nice fine aim and not have that really weird slow and then it ramps up into a fast speed, which is what I really wanted to be in this game and that's really cool that they've added in. Now, I've actually not seen anybody else actually talk about these controls, so I don't know if anyone else has noticed them, but how cool is that? So you get all these different extra ways of playing the game and controlling your sensitivity within a game instead of having to be stuck with either classic, steady and all that stuff in there as well, which I think is really, really good on there. Uh, there's another one as well. If you go into video, you can actually go now to sprint view shake. And you can actually make it normal or minimal. I put it down to minimal. So you're not going to shake as much when you're running. You're not going to have that head bobbing weirdness that can sometimes throw you off. Audio, it's not really changed anything on here as far as I'm aware. And control does not really change. Apart from obviously when you have that addition of that, I think you get these as well, which is how you want the dead zones to be on L2 and R2 as well, which is really, really good and awesome. So yeah, I'm going to keep this video potentially short because I don't want to go into too much detail on here. I just want to talk about the new features and especially about the feature which enables you now to go in here and change all the dead zones and do all that good stuff as well. That's pretty cool. So if you've not seen this before, definitely go check it out and try it and I will do some settings on here to find out what's best and what's not good for this and try and get a really good setting for my convicts and convicts out there. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap the notification bell to be notified of all my videos, and you can be one of Kappa's convicts or a convict for the ladies, and you know who it is. It is I, the Kappa convict, signing out, and as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in some more gameplays, and hopefully some interesting new settings. Bye for now.